I'm doing a little experiment to see if uh, I can be understood while I'm doing this. It's something I do a lot. I have migraines, right? I think it's a pretty bad one. I already took two uh, Imatrex. And it's it's pretty bearable. But I use the massager, right? I use it here and here. And sometimes I use it on my ears and my nose just to make myself sneeze or create the crazy sensation because it's a good distraction. When I do it, I can't really do anything else. Watch the, I can't hear it. So, like, so I don't know if you can hear me. I'll play it back later. We'll see if it's worth uploading. Seeing it, obviously, then it was. I can see the mic thing happening. So you can hear this, and it's pretty loud. If I press a little harder, it'll make it quieter, but. Who knows, you know. Uh, sometimes I wonder if this is good, like if I'm giving myself mild concussion or something. If I am, then... Been doing it for decades, so... Bad, I guess. But I never get, like, the classical symptoms of concussion. I don't get nausea. I, that kind of thing. I don't get like strong desire to sleep, you know. But I, I do sleep a lot, so. But yeah, it just it hurts. So I want to talk about how it's pretty cool that people are watching my Path of Exile videos and commenting. I really didn't expect that. Like I've. I've gotten like 20 notifications today and made replies and stuff and I'm like pretty shocked I'll have to get better at that you know I'm sure I'll get into flame wars with fanboys and stuff I've already encountered one telling me I'm too negative okay sure I don't even know what that means, really. I, I register that as sit down and shut up, basically, and I'm like, no. I mean, like, I'm sure they would say something like, nobody's forcing you to play, and equally, I'm nobody's forcing you to watch my video. So. And yeah, I get a motive, and I, you know, I complain and stuff, but by definition, any one video is out of context. I mean, I've been playing for 10 years, so there's a lot of stuff you don't see. But I do like the uh, social aspect of it, like the, the sensation that I'm not by myself, you know, I'm actually interacting with people. So, all in all, today is a good day. It's an unusually good day, despite the headache, which as I said is mild, it's just annoying enough to require this. Because this basically shuts it off. Like, I mean, it, while I'm doing this, it doesn't hurt. Not really. I mean, it's very, very reduced. But it's, you know, I almost want a harness where I can just mount it to my head and go about my, you know, day. I don't think it's normally on this side. That's kind of unusual. Normally, it's this side. So, uh... That could also be, I think like we're having some crazy weather coming. Because typically I get headaches after storms, you know, after rain has come. I don't know what that means barometrically. Like, 
You'd be surprised how incredibly difficult it is to find a graph of barometric pressure over time. My phone won't do it. It doesn't have a sensor. Some phones do have a barometric pressure sensor, and I would, that's definitely going to be on the list of needed things when I come to replace mine, but my phone is awesome. My girlfriend picked it out for me, and it's pretty amazing. Just keeps on trucking. I've had to replace the case twice, but that's its job, you know, and I use a, a magnetic adapter for the charging thing so I don't wreck the charging port over time. Plugging it in and unplugging it, plugging it in and unplugging it. I, I plug in a magnetic thing and it stays plugged in for years. And I've had to replace it twice, so I know that's working. I'm pretty good at making stuff last. I guess that's my point. And uh, so long as the hardware is running contemporary software, I don't have need to re replace it. One thing that does suck about it is I can't really make it work with TrackPhone. And I totally blame TrackPhone for that, because it's unlocked. They just, their support is abysmal. And uh, so I use Boost Infinite to, uh, that's pretty good, you know. It's, it's nice to have small flat rate and uh, infinite and everything else, you know, infinite data. And I've... It's it's coming real handy. Like sometimes we've we've had net outages. And, uh, I can turn this into a hotspot and just supply and totally still play, you know, watch stuff. It's it's pretty decent speed. So. No. I kind of want two of them, you know? But I wonder about safety. Probably best to just contain it to one, you know? Also, these things are surprisingly expensive. I got this one a long time ago, and it was like 20 bucks or something. Now they're like 30 or 40. It's weird. I thought my headache was caffeine initially because I, I didn't have coffee the day before yesterday. But uh, I had coffee today and everything was normal and fine. But I had a headache the whole time. We'll see how that is.